Bye bye, hello. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Welcome to Umbria, a province in the heart of Italy. We were here to check out Caccia Village. Welcome to Italy. An annual three-day event covering everything from hunting and wild food to the guns and gear we all want or need. This was guaranteed to be a contrast to England. But I never thought it would be as good as this. That was one of the best experiences I've had in a long time. Guys, welcome to Umbria in the middle of Italy. Today, we're gonna to be checking out Caccia Village, a hunting fair for Italian hunters. I'm really excited for this as a cultural experience, as well as to see some awesome and pretty unique guns. The problem was, my Italian is poor. So before my guide arrived to translate, I tracked down an old friend. Mr. Rizzini, that is a beautiful little 28 gauge. This is, is a Beccaccia model. It's something special for, uh, for the woodcock hunter. A Beccaccia is a woodcock. Beccaccia is a woodcock, yeah. It's a very special shotgun for the hunters. And something special because it's very light, it's aluminum action. Mm -hmm. The barrel are very short, it's more or less 24 inch. The, the ribs are very special because it's a little bit rampant and help to, to go faster on the target. There is a multi-choke including and there is also a paradox choke including. And what does a paradox choke do? Paradox choke is help you to have a bigger pattern in a short distance. So what does a 10 meter pattern look like? On the 12th board you have more or less one meter wow. at the 10 meter, yeah. And that is because woodcock hunting, like in most of the world, is in very thick, very harsh environments. For sure, yeah. In some area you need the paradox shock. In some other area you don't need. This is the reason why we use interchangeable chokes. It's very strong mechanism because it's more than 40 years we use the same mechanism. So although the action is aluminium, the design is the same as other Rizzini guns? Yeah, you can have a single trigger or double trigger. And maybe if you had a paradox choke and a, a half choke, the double trigger would be very useful. That V-cut top rib is fascinating because you can very quickly tell whether you are looking down it or nowhere near getting your face on the stock. It's a very clever idea. Yeah, yeah, thank you. This As is is very good for, for, for hunters. Have you ever tried this style rib on a longer barrel for sporting clays? No, never. Would you? We never try. <laughs> Off the back of this conversation, I wanted to see more guns we don't have access to back home. So, uh, this is the, the new the Bar 4X and the advantage of the of this new product is you can customize it as you want. Okay. So you need to, to choose a base like this one. So you have a, a black one black or one in gray. Yeah. You take which one which you want. After you need to take the wood and the grade of the wood and after you choose your your site so you can have uh, reflex battery, fitted yeah. batteries exactly. whatever you want it, is it mechanically changed from the old version not inside but now the the barrel is uh, fixed so the the gun is more uh, Stabilizable, uh, robust, yeah, you're robust, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and more uh, precise. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. We spent the next half hour looking around before we met up with Mark, my guide and translator. A meeting that was strangely serenaded by bagpipes. Italy, so we're gonna try some of the uh, Italian specialità. Food and drink is a huge part of Caccia Village, with wild game at the heart of it all. 
It's healthy. No, no, it, healthy it is. No, who cares about healthy? Why is it delicious? Ah, perché è buona? Perché, yeah. perché non è allevata. È la because the animal eats whatever it likes. It's not forced to eat anything it doesn't fancy. And that's why it's richer in flavor. Do you know? Here we go. Purely organic. Good enough for me. Okay. Look at this. Cheese. Bye bye. As hungry as we were, there was only time for a small snack before we had to hustle over to the shooting range. Raniero Testa, a trick shooting god, was performing twice a day and I didn't want to miss it. That's Raniero Testa, a genuine hero of mine. I owned an SX3 Raniero Testa edition. Proper fanboy moment to see him in real life. This hour long show had warm up acts, side acts, acrobatics from Arissa Kelly, and the main man himself. He was shooting from the hip, upside down, doing press ups. even shooting clays blindfolded. Finishing up with an insane hand-thrown clay challenge. We just spent an hour and 20 minutes watching the Raniero Testa show. Wow. That guy is a showman, an extremely talented shooter. That was one of the best experiences I've had in a long time. Awesome, if you have never watched him, find a reason to go and watch him. It was worth every moment of standing there just smiling for an hour and 20 minutes. This could be one of my favorite guns I've found so far. Siachi, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. It's a hammer gun 410. I've seen so many guns of this style, just a side by side 410 but it's nice to see a modern, reasonably priced 410 coming to the market, or at least available. Price point wise, I think it's about three and a half thousand, certainly from what I understand where these sit in the market, maybe about four. It is beautiful. Hand checkered, case color hardened, beautiful wood. And there's a Hammer 410. If you're looking for something more practical, they have a double 410 elegance, and the elegance, the lines on the elegance are just spectacular. That is a good find. Really beautiful gun. That is also beautiful. The super light 28 gauge. The side bladed, game seamed, very simple, but beautiful side by side. I think I need a 28 gauge side by side. Every time I see one, I just feel some magnetic pull. But this one especially. It's just simple and attractive. Beautiful round body, 28 gauge. Hey, what's not to love? Here's a gun I've only ever seen a picture before, a HK 940. That is strangely beautiful. However, I can't really look at that when this is above it. I have no idea what it is. It's an Army Cassini. It's 1,390 euros. But one of the most bizarre looking guns I think I've ever seen. It says it's a 12 gauge, but the action looks like it's a four, a four gauge or two ball. Anyway, back to the food. Wild Boar was built for salami. Yeah. What you don't know is that Sasha's really hungry right now. And if I was honest about this, it's amazing. But I can't be honest, it's terrible, Sasha. Sasha, you are the best. It's like, uh... I mean, I know that we're in Italy and we shouldn't expect anything less, but this looks amazing. This is Wild Boar with some priarielli and uh, a sauce and they make everything from scratch and this is also i think beer with apple and uh, i don't know what else but it looks amazing bite reaction there we go oh wow lord i'm gonna take that and this is for you oh thank you oh man
Very roast nice. wild boar with a cream and mustard mm -hmm. thing. Oh, Must you should come here just to eat. Try and say, like we do, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Who even cares about guns? Acceptably good looking food. Yeah. That mm. is meaty. Okay. It's mm. gold. But also like a dessert. That should be on the pudding menu, and you'd be happier eating that for pudding <laughs> than any cake. Oh. That's interesting I've spent that there six is six years building a vocabulary to describe every part of a gun. But it turns out the only word I know for food is yummy. Best venison I've ever eaten. I think wild game cooking does require some skill. Mm -hmm. Which I think is why it's not potentially more popular across the globe because you can't just abuse it. Mm. But when it's cooked right, that strength of the meat and the extra added flavour becomes such a symphony of enjoyment. This sticky sweet and sour fallow loin was insane. And the gnocchi with wild boar ragu was top draw as well. So we wiped out wild boar in England and there's been a few escapees so we have a feral population. The more that come, the better. They are the best tasting wild animal in the Europe. It's a perfect combination with the sweetness of the potatoes mm. in the gnocchi and the saltiness of the dried ricotta, isn't it? That's now Sasha's. Aside from guns, cars and eating to excess are my passions. So not content with six courses, we ploughed on. It's not okay. all game food, right? Because this is just a normal pig. Normal pig. They roast it there with wood and the flavor is going to be exceptional because there is no gas or stuff. But this is a traditional Umbrian Traditional snack. Umbrian, well, it's different to call it a snack. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, we have a few minutes to eat it. Uh, so this is going to be fun. I'm just gonna go for it. It's insanely hot. Have you just burnt your tongue and now ruined the rest of the food tasting? Welcome to Italy. Right, if the language wasn't so complicated, the food, the views, the houses, <laughs> why wouldn't you live here? That was the best and most gluttonous lunch I have ever had. Time for guns. Really excited to see this. This is the Benelli Lupu HPR High Precision Rifle. It's got the best finish, a 22 mil long taper barrel. This gun is guaranteed 0.75 MOA in all weather conditions. I mean, that's a cool statement. You've got M-Lock on the front, you've got a removable bag rider that can clip in here if you prefer a standard shape or a more normal shape. Comes with a weaver rail and obviously the BESD finish, the best finish, which is pretty outrageous, some of the claims they make about it, but they've done tests. It's on the internet, it clearly works, right? Fully adjustable comb on this little button in the side here. It's all just very well put together. Uh, but it's a Benelli, right? What else would you expect? I think this is an awesome looking rifle. It's nice to see Benelli stepping out of the standard hunting design and coming into perhaps the more modern looking market, a accurate high precision rifle, aluminum your lower, steel upper, which just gives that beautiful rigidity, great bedding, big fan. To an idiot like me, the Gordon system is just very pretty, but it actually does stuff. You know that, first of all, this one is the only unique technical features that really change the feeling of shooting. Okay. So basically, you can see it, of course, of the visual, it's different, it's nicer, it's you a, know, you can play with the colors. It's a, it's a plastic insert yes. inside of a yes. metallic case. Yes, because it's this one, it's a base wad. Okay. And the base wad, act like a shock absorber on the bottom of the powder. So it's a, a, like a compression stage? Yes, exactly. And is this the first phase? Because the second is the shock absorber of the wad. Okay. So of course, uh, any cartridge has the wad. Could be fiber wad, could be plastic wad like this. You have a shock absorber or the fiber act like you said, no? the compression and everything. But this one is the unique that you have a double effect. It's not less we call in general. A more progressive. Yes, so you don't feel the kick. Yeah, the you peak, feel a, you yeah. feel a gentle push. The peak is lower. Yes. Okay. So the point is this one, we shoot more. It's better to have more gentle push rather than uh, only kicks in your shoulder. Yeah, but the best thing is to try it because uh, I'm sure that uh, everyone try it. Uh, they can feel not only the quality of the cartridge, but also the, comf the comfort of the shell.
I was just having a look around the Ferrazzi stand and they've got some beautiful guns here, a few sets of four custom things on the other side. But there's one gun that really caught my attention and it's this, the Ferrazzi High Tech X Gold. I've not actually seen a High Tech X in the UK, plenty of HTSs and even a couple of the HTS 2020 edition with the Parazzi logoing put on the side. I've seen pictures of the silver version. The difference is, is you've got an X on the bottom, a two-tone X, and the entire side panel, the half side plate, has a textured finish. And this, however, is a fully case color hardened receiver with the same texture, but instead of the standard engraved Parazzi high tech and the two X on the bottom, they are in lead in gold. This is a beautiful, beautiful gun. Guys, Ineos are here with the Grenadier and they actually have a test track just outside the showground and I've always wanted to drive one so I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, go and rag it around. Straight six petrol or a straight six diesel. Exactly. Okay. 286 horsepower and a torque of 450 newton meter. Awesome. Grenadiers are only with an automatic gearbox from ZF with eight gears. Mm -hmm. We have no manual. She's on the wrong side of the road on wrong. the phone. Come on, what do you think of the Grenadier? For me, it's actually a winner. Defender looks, BMW drive with German reliability. You said I have to uh, crash this car, it's a terrible video. Yeah. And an interior that would stand up to me, my family, and my work. I just wish it was a little more economical. But what six foot seven person friendly car is economical? I'm a big fan. Hiring some of the poly guns, the Fratelli poly, and their engraving style is a little bit more Germanic than you'd expect in some of the Italian makers. But it is beautiful. There's a 28 gauge side by side over there with a deep relief dog and oak leaves. Stunning. But because I'm a child and an idiot and endlessly predictable, there is a used, Cosme, 1958 built 27 inch barrel Cosme. It's stunning with a rounded knob pistol grip. Very much my cup of tea. Three and a half grand. Hi Pietro. Hi Johnny, how are you? I'm good, thank you. This show is really very real. There's a lot of actual hunters here, which is really cool. Absolutely, yeah, big time. Uh, we are expecting a lot of hunters. It's a consumer-based event, so we are here for it. This is new. The yeah. A400 Upland 28 gauge. So this is the, let's say, the last edition of uh, the A400 Upland range. Obviously we got the 12 and the 20, mm -hmm. then we thought, why don't we go with the 28 as well? Obviously the, the news here is that we got a magnum chamber. So it's a three inch chamber. Steel proofed? Steel proofed, of course. And uh, well, it's our fancy semi-auto in this sense. So it's made for hunting, but a lot of people take it also for clay shooting. Uh, it's a fancy gun, so wood is fancy, uh, the receiver obviously is nickel finished. It's a nice like, yeah. looking gun. Might we see some other variations on the 28 gauge platform, like uh, Black Edition or something like that? We are thinking about, you know, taking it also on the synthetic level, okay. uh, maybe on the Extreme Plus, but we will see about that. Is it hard to make a 28 gauge semi-automatic that is reliable? It is, it is very hard. Uh, in fact, you know, the variation with different ammo is, is wide, let's say. 16 gram to 28 gram. Ex exactly. Ooh. So you need to have uh, a very reliable system. We have worked on our gas system. It's specifically designed for the 28. So uh, we feel that we are good there. Uh, but also it's a fun gun to shoot. So everything you said from 16 to 28, you, know, you can shoot everything. It'll it. cycle any two and three quarter inch cartridge. Absolutely, and help. three inch. Yes. So if you can find them. If you can find them, of course. But you know, in the US, for instance, three inch 28s are popular right now okay. because people actually take this gun to hunt ducks, waterfall in general. So again, it's a, it's a gun to shoot everything from small birds, whales, for instance, to waterfall. Davide de Carolis was also performing his trick shooting show here. So we headed over to check him out. Before catching up with a hunting agency. Davide, can you explain to me a little bit about Italian hunting, what the traditions are, what's popular? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's mainly winged game. Yeah. And what we have here, 
that we shoot from September till the last the last week in January is mainly pheasant, partridge and woodcock. Woodcock seem to be worshipped. There's entire rooms here filled with yeah, woodcock, filled. taxidermy, pictures, clothing. Totally, totally crazy about woodcock, especially because it's probably the only wild bird that there is that comes in from November time till January time. Yeah. It's probably the, well, it's not probably, it's the only wild bird that we have yeah. present. And in totally it. unreliant on people, and like a pigeon, oh, yeah. Yeah. which is the kind of mystic, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, woodcock hunting is incredibly fascinating, especially here, because we don't do it driven, we do it over the gun dog. Over a pointer? Over a pointer, yeah. Or something yeah, like. yeah, we've got Rock Italiano, Spinone, we use a lot of the English breeds as well, English pointers and English setters. Awesome. And there's there's actually a big, big number of uh, people that go shooting in Italy that use English setter. It works well with the kind of hunting that we do. So is it expensive? What it is, in, <laughs> in Italy, it works this way. There's, um, within the county, you've got certain areas that you pay to 300 euros depending on the area that you want to go shooting in you pay the tax on it once you've paid the tax on it you get given a, a book where you need to sign the day that you go out and what species you're after okay. and whatnot and then after that you just go shooting you've got to stay within the limits so for example it could be two pheasant one partridge and one woodcock you can't go over that limit on that day and you just just go hunting what about big game Big game, we've got a huge problem with wild boar at the minute. Farmers are going mental at the minute because of the damage that they're doing. Do they get big or is that more for the fallow and the row that they're doing? It, it's, it's, all the, it's all down to the, to the food that they're getting outside. Uh, normal way, you're looking at a decent male pig around 100 to 120 kilograms. A good size, but not a monster. Which is, it's not a monster, but if you run one over with your car, <laughs> you'll know about it. Then we've got fallow deer, red deer, the roe deer. We've got some really, really nice roe deer. Even the red deer gets some really good heads on them. Mate, I might see you for a woodcock hunt in yeah. Italy someday. Thank you very much, thank you. So this is a system invented by this guy that basically is a replacement for every single 690 or 680 on the market. Okay. Which is a double trigger, but Go instead straight. of shooting first and second, well, you can shoot first, second, or second, first. Oh, that's very clever. Yeah. So it still has the changeover, still yeah, has everything. Exactly. And this is, I guess, popular with upland hunters where you have two very different channels. Exactly, exactly. This is the Rizzini BR460 Chrome. I've seen it in black, I love it in black, I kinda love it in chrome too. What's interesting about this is it's fitted with the IPS stock, the improved performance system stock. Rizzini have a number of IPS products, adjustable rib, balancing weights, adjustable combs, and this adjustable stock, which is made by Future K6 here in Umbria. This is all made by Future K, this is all made by Rizzini, and they join them together to give you a fully adjustable system. There's a rubber buffer pad in here that reduces recoil ever so slightly. Each turn of this is half a millimeter in and out. All you have to do is loosen these screws. You've got left, right, up, down, pitch adjustment, full cast and height adjustment. That's a cool thing. We are in the tobacco making company from the central part of Umbria. We randomly noticed the tobacco is growing fantastically here. And see, that's fascinating. They actually make it like this. They don't have like a, a powerful machinery this is or stuff all like that. Handmade Italian cigars. Yeah, I've been there. They making all the cigars like uh, handmade. Torna buoni. Torna buoni. Torna buoni. 20 cigars uh, is about 60 euros. Honestly, my mind was a little fried from all the new information I had learnt at Kacha Village. But before I left, I had one final question for Martina from Kacha for Passion. And that was about thrush hunting. Something very foreign to me. Can you please explain to me the concept or the methods that you should use to hunt tordo? <laughs> so we have three ways okay. of hunting tordo. First, you have a fixed place 
where you go there and you wait patiently and then you have a recall for the tordo. It's like a beep beep. No, electronic. No, wow. Vietato in Italia. Ah, it's forbidden Sono to have electronic. Vivi, same, same in England. Same in England. Okay. Yeah. So it's on a little mouth go. Okay. No, L'animale vivo. Oh, okay. The, the ones up there. Animals. Yes. <laughs> okay. The use of live thrush decoys to draw in other birds took some understanding, but to truly appreciate other cultures, one has to enter them with an impartial perspective, right? I feel genuinely lucky to have experienced Katia Village. To quote Mark Twain, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness, and many of our people need it solely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, and charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one corner of the earth all one's life. And there is a reason to sit in some more airports. And that's the end of my time here at Katia Village. This has been an amazing experience. There is one more full day of the event. And I kind of wish I was here just to mooch around and take things a little easier. Looking around those second-hand stores, going out to all those gazebos out the back. The food has been fantastic, the company has been fantastic. It's been great to make and meet new friends and do new experiences, experience new experiences. My favorite part, watching Raniero Testa was something I've looked forward to for a very long time after many years of watching on social media. Looking at some of the more obscure Italian gun makers has been fantastic and, of course, the food guys thank you so much for watching take care we will probably be back next year to check this out or i certainly do hope so and hey maybe you guys can come along too thank you for watching guys this channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors you can find out more about them in the description down below and if you want to support the channel you can join as a member you get loads of extra content well some extra content and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group if you don't feel like joining today we really appreciate you watching and subscribing have a wonderful day Bye.